Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we've got some Canon news just from the last week to a week and a half or so. And we're going to be talking about the Canon R1, some new lenses Canon has coming out, as well as some stock issues with the Canon R7 and the Canon R10. Now, before we get into the news, if this is not your first time watching one of my videos, please help me out and hit that thumbs up button as it helps the channel and the video find more people. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you can get more information and news videos just like this one. So many of us knew just from the releases of the R3 and the R5C that there was a very high chance that there were going to be stock issues with the Canon R7 and the Canon R10, and it seems that is already the case. While there were a bunch of initial orders that did go out, it seems that the cameras are backordered pretty much everywhere. Canon rumors had reported earlier in the week that they were showing in stock on Canon's website. However, they promptly went backordered, and some of the people who said that they ordered it during the time that it wasn't showing backordered did get emails stating that the camera was in fact on back order with no ETA as to when their cameras would be shipped. Now I've had people comment personally on my videos within the last month that some of them are still waiting for R5Cs and Canon R3s. So hopefully we won't have as large of an issue with something like the R7 and R10, or else it could be quite a while before some of the people who pre-ordered this camera get their cameras or people who haven't pre-ordered at all even get a chance to purchase one of these units. Now, speaking about the R7 and the R10, both of the new lenses that we are hearing rumors about that are potentially going to be announced or even come out this year are going to be great additions to the R7, the R10, as well as the full frame lineup of RF series cameras. Now, it sounds like chances are pretty good that we should have an announcement of these two lenses sometime this year. Now, the first is gonna be a 24 millimeter 1.8 aperture macro lens. So it's gonna be something like the 35 millimeter 1.8 that we already have out, just with a much wider field of view. Now the hope for this lens is that it's on the more affordable side, more like the 35 millimeter 1.8 is, that comes in at around $500. If we can get something at about that five to $600 or even at a better price with that type of aperture as well as being a macro lens, that would be an absolutely fantastic addition to the entire RF lineup. Now, the next lens is going to be a Canon 15 millimeter to 30 millimeter F3.5 to 5.6. Now, this is also supposed to be an affordable lens option. Now, currently from Canon, the only affordable wide angle lens that they really have is the $300 16 millimeter 2.8. Your other options beyond that are some of the older EF lenses, like the 17 to 40, the 16 to 35s, and some of those are going to range in price from anywhere from about $500 used up to $12 and $1,300 plus for a new lens. You also have the RF version of those lenses, which at a minimum is going to set you back at about $1,699. Now, having a lens that will go from 15 to 30 and still be on the affordable end is going to be great for any of your full frame cameras, but it's also going to be really good for the R7 and the R10, as that gives you even more affordable lens options for some of those different field of views on these two new cameras. Hopefully we'll get more information within the next few months about these two lenses regarding release dates or even potentially prices, just be weary that when they do come out, there is most likely going to be stock issues. The 16 millimeter and pretty much every other lens that's come out recently has had stock issues. So if it's a lens that you think you wanna get, try to pre-order as soon as possible the day pre-orders start to optimize your chance of getting one of these lenses sooner than later. If not, there could be a good few month wait waiting to get one of these lenses, so it may feed into 2023. Now, the last news for today is regarding the R1, and it's not the greatest news. Sources are reporting that the Canon R1 may not come out until the second half of 2023. And unfortunately, the second half of 2023 could be all the way to quarter four. So sometime between October and December or quarter three, which would be more likely June, July, August. Now, if that really is the case and the R1 comes out, let's say sometime between June and December, the chances of many of you getting this camera won't be until 2024. And it could possibly be deep into 2024 because of stock issues. Every other camera that's come out within the last year and a half or so has had a good two month to six month wait, depending on when you ordered it 
to get your camera. As I said earlier in the video, I still get comments on my videos from people who have ordered R3s at the very beginning when they were being released and still have not gotten them yet. And at this point, that launch was quite a while ago at the time of the release of this video. Now, if you're someone who ordered an R7 or an R10 and you received your order, or even if you didn't, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you think about these two new lens options coming out. What do you feel about them? How do you think they would help your everyday workflow? Also, if you're someone who was interested in the R1, how is this news of this release date affecting you that it's going to be so far in the future? Because I feel like a lot of people thought the announcement and release date for that camera would be much sooner. And now the fact that we may be waiting until 2024 to physically get this camera in our hand can completely change someone's plans that they had to purchase a new camera. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap this video up. Like I said earlier, if you liked the video, please hit that like button as it helps the video greatly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification. And with that being said, until next time.